Who were you no game? Super Sonic Racing. Hello, all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you very much for lending me your time and your ear and then tuning in to another edition of Why You Know Game. This time, Super Sonic Racing. And this is something else I've talked about before on my channel like a long time ago. But I've thought it over again and there's things that I think that would be better that could be added to this that would make it a great game if it was given a rebirth. So Sonic R is the game that I'm talking about, which was on the Sega Saturn, and then it was bumped over to Windows PC. I'm trying to think. I think it was, um, I want to say it was Windows 98. I don't know for sure. I think it was 98 that it was bumped over to. And, and Windows added all the weather effects and all that stuff. So I, I would really like to see that game get a redo. For one, it's like the only real Sonic racing game where Sonic is actually just racing on foot against other people. Which you would think, with speed being his thing and he runs all the time, that he'd have more games like that. I mean, there's the um, the games that were on PSP, and I'm trying to remember the names of them right now. I think they were Sonic Dash. I think that's what they were called. I think they were called Sonic Dash. I'm not exactly certain, so don't quote me on that. But um, those are like 2D-ish racing games, but I think those are like you have Sonic like grinding on rails and shit, and, and I think it's also automated, so I don't, I haven't played them, so I don't really know. But Sonic Racing has never really gotten a true follow-up, and, like, and people will argue that uh, Sonic Riders is the follow-up to that, but like there's this Sonic on a fucking hoverboard. No. That's not the follow-up to Sonic Racing where he was on foot. Um, I, I really... I'm like, I've been baffled by this with Sega for a while myself. It's just like... Sonic is a character who runs. He's all about speed, but you don't have racing games with Sonic in them. You want to do everything else with the character, but do what, do what he should naturally do. And that's what drives me up the wall. I'm like... Sega, come on! This should this should be so fucking explanatory. You shouldn't need me to come to come say, "Hey Sega, you gonna do another Sonic Racing game? Or you gonna do do a better Sonic Racing game? You gonna do Super Sonic Racing so we can like get an actual Sonic Racing game and one that's not like choppy and slow as fuck, where the characters look like they're walking up the road rather than running?" But, <laughs> but hey, and here, here's how I would how I would think to do it. I would take the engine that Sonic Generations was built on. Um, I don't know what I don't know what version of the Hedgehog engine that is because I think it was still a Hedgehog engine. But I would take the engine that was used to build Sonic Generations, work with the the 3D stage side of it, and make race tracks based on that type of running speed. Like a lot of stages, like the daytime stages in um, Sonic Unleashed, the stages in um, Sonic Colors, and the modern Sonic stages and Sonic Generations, they're like the perfect fucking blueprint for a goddamn Sonic racing game. <laughs> like, Sega, come on. This, this should be easy. But it's not, for some reason. It's like, like they, their brains checked out on that idea. Like, y'all only really attempted it once. And, and I, I, I understand, maybe it wasn't a successful attempt, but you only really attempted it one time. Like, you mean to tell me, like, y'all can't muster up the courage to actually make a real Sonic racing game? One where characters that are slow as molasses as fuck like Silver's ass could actually have some fucking speed? <laughs> I'm just like, no, no. So what I would, I mean, it would be cool to me if they went back and just redid it and just rebirthed it and actually made like a, a, a Sonic Racing line of games off of it. It would actually be a cool, cool thing to do. And like you would think that this concept would stick to them like fucking glue, but it's like no, 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 no. We're gonna put Sonic in a scarf. We're gonna give him some bandages. We're gonna make him tall and lanky. 
like, okay, Sega, okay. You guys got to fuck, fuck the pooch on that one. <laughs> and I meant it that way when I said it. But it just, like, think of all the classic Sonic characters and then all of the, like, the adventure series characters and, and like, other characters between there. And they could even take some of the characters out of the comics and put them in this. Out of the Archie comic series. They could... Like, this, that would be a good way to introduce people to other characters from Sonic. And it's like, nope. We're not, we're not, we're not gonna do this. Pushing Mario with Sonic at the Olympics and Sonic can run fast and that, but he's not actually running his full speed. So, I don't know, like, what's the point? It's... I, I, and then the thing is... They could give each character a special ability. Like, Sonic in Sonic R had his double jump. That was his special ability. Uh, I would change that to him having the boost mode that he can use. Because I would not I would want to make that unique to, like, him. So, I'd give him his, his boost mode. Uh, Knuckles being able to take alternate paths by, like, smashing through shit while he's running. And having his glide to cover vast amounts of area. Tails being able to fly up to areas that would give him an advantage. Uh, Shadow using his chaos control to get through places. Amy with that big ass fucking hammer use it to vault up to high ledges and shit like that. But, like that's something that they could do but they, they haven't done it. Silver being able to temporarily fly using his psychic power. Blaze being able to burn through certain shit. I'm like come on now. And like, and they could make it so that once you open up an area with one character, other characters can can reach that area, unless it's just like something that they can't get to, like Sonic can't fly, so he shouldn't be able to reach the top of a fucking slope that will propel him down extremely fast, uh, or on a on a racetrack. That that should be a disadvantage for him, but he has boost, like he has that boost, so he can just fucking speed through it any goddamn way. And I'm like, and I would like to see a lot of those stages, a lot of those racetracks redone, because honestly, in Sonic R, they are tiny as fuck. But then again, the characters didn't move very fast, so they didn't need to be very long. But I would love to see those redone and like expanded upon, like keep the the same general concepts for each one of the levels, but just make them bigger and get make them more intricate and, and add shit to it. <clears throat> now, I mean, I know there's some Sonic fan out there that could probably do this shit, and they would take the, uh, not Sonic Worlds, is it? The Sonic Dimensions engine, they could probably do it with it, but it wouldn't, it would look kind of choppy, because it's not gonna, like, because of the way the animations work in that engine, it just, it's, it wouldn't look right, but it could be done with that engine. I'm just like scratching my head at saying, like, y'all, why do I have to tell you? Why, why do I have to say this? This is too damn obvious. It's too obvious. Why, why are you guys not doing this? That's that's the thing that the baffles me. It's like so super obvious. That they don't want to attempt it. It's like it's, it's like a disease that they're trying to avoid or something. Like, oh no, no, we can't have Sonic racing on foot. You can put him in fucking Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed. You can put his ass on fucking foot. Why the hell does Sonic have to be in a goddamn car in order to race? That, that's why I'm like... I, I just want I'm, I, 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 I don't know. I just want to yell at Sega for that. Like, do this. It's simple enough to come up with the concept. You guys can do this. I know you can do this. Put Sonic Team to work on this shit. Let them let them put this together. Come on. Give this to them. Let them do this. No Sonic Riders. No Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed. Or Sega and All-Stars Racing, period. No, no don't do that. I mean, not saying don't do those. But give Sonic an opportunity to actually do what he's meant to do in a game in a way that he should do it. I, I just... That, that's what I'm thinking about. But then they could put in all the other characters. You put in the Tails doll, Metal Knuckles, Metal Sonic, and all that shit. 
supersonic, hypersonic, hi, I mean, supersonic, hyper shadow, and all, like literally have all that shit in the game and be unlockable. Hmm. <sighs> But I'm done. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.